I'll tell you why I'm still sucking air today. I'm taking my wife to the ocean. And I'm going to sit on the beach and let her see it. That was her dream. And then I'm going to see her. That's my dream. In 1883, after the death of his wife and daughter due to smallpox, Shea Brennan, a captain in the U.S. Army, is driven to the edge by sorrow and ponders on killing himself. However, his friend and colleague in the Army, Thomas, steps in right on cue, stopping him from moving further with his plan and informs him of a job in Fort Worth, Texas. They then ride into town to meet the European immigrants they're supposed to guide along the treacherous route to the Oregon Trail. As they arrive, they come across James Dutton briefly, who's just extricated himself from a shootout with a group of bandits, and gives him a piece of advice on how to avoid more bandits before going their separate ways. When Thomas and Shay eventually get to the group, they discover the immigrants have no means of transport and protection. To raise their chances of getting to Oregon successfully, Shay decides to hire additional men for the security detail and tells the group to raise the money for their payment. After several futile attempts, they stumble across James again and try to recruit him after learning he was heading towards Oregon. But James turns them down. James, who'd been waiting to pick up his family from the train station, eventually does so and lodges them in a hotel. With his family consisting of his wife Margaret, his daughter Elsa, his young son John, and sister and widow Claire alongside her daughter Mary. The group is mostly women and thus vulnerable. This is proven when later that night a drunk man breaks into Elsa's room and tries to force himself on her, but is quickly killed by James. The next morning, James meets up with Thomas and Shay and agrees to travel along with them in order to better protect his family en route to Oregon. After observing that the European immigrants aren't economical with their food, James meets Shay and Thomas and suggests they get a cook to help ration the food so the group doesn't come after his families when they burn through their supply. Shay agrees with him and brings him along to buy cattle for the journey. After discovering they won't be able to meet the cost of cattle, the ranch owner suggests they round up some wild cattle out in the mountains instead. Just then, Cowboys Wade and Ennis, whom Thomas and Shay had tried to recruit earlier, show up at the ranch, and Shay is able to convince them to help with rounding up the cattle in the mountains. Afterward, they head back to the camp to get more men for the task. Upon realizing that none of the immigrants are capable, James brings Elsa along. En route to the mountains, the group stumbles across a few more cowboys, who also agree to help them. The group is successful at rounding up a herd of cattle but trouble arises back at the camp as it's been attacked by bandits, leaving several immigrants alongside James's niece Mary dead. They ride back to camp as soon as they get word of the attack and then go to see the town's marshal. Afterward, they follow the marshal to the bar where the bandits are. Joseph, the only English-speaking immigrant, identifies them and they kill every single one. Fearing the consequences that may arise from their action, the group packs up to leave the next morning. However, a distraught Claire refuses to come along after her daughter's death, and she eventually kills herself, with James and Shay burying her before leaving. The journey to Oregon grows more dangerous with each day, as more immigrants lose themselves to harsh conditions like snake bites and attacks from wild animals. However, they come to a stop when they encounter a river that's tricky to cross because of their wagons. As Shea ponders on finding a good crossing through the river, Thomas reminds him that crossing is imperative as further delay raises the chances of winter catching up to them before they get to Oregon. As they return to camp, James and John go hunting while Margaret and Elsa ride out to help with the cattle herd. Meanwhile, back in the camp, Shay realizes that a couple of the immigrants had forcefully taken the food supply belonging to one of their own, Numi, 
and her kids after she was widowed during the bandit attack. Angered, Shay accosts them, retrieves Numi's food supply, and exiles them from the rest of the group. Meanwhile, Elsa and Ennis start to show some chemistry following the time they've spent together, monitoring the herd. After successfully killing a deer, James and John return to camp with their kill. Shay then informs James that the group will head out the next day. Later that night, the men whom Shay had exiled try to convince other immigrants they don't need Shay to make their way to Oregon. Shay shows up just then, reminding them of his warning, and sends both of them away from the camp. The next morning, as the group prepares to leave, James, who's been aware of the chemistry between Ennis and his daughter, gives Ennis permission to court his daughter. As they head out, Elsa, Ennis, Wade, and James stay with the cattle herd, while Margaret and John ride with their wagon. On getting to the river, the group camps there for the night, leaving the crossing for the next day. As Shay, Thomas, James, Wade, and Joseph talk about the safest ways to cross the river, they learn the immigrants can't swim. So, Shay asks for James's help to make the crossing a success, and he agrees. Later that night, James decides it'd be wise to help his family cross over that night so he can give the immigrants all his attention the next day. Margaret agrees and goes over with the wagon, while James follows behind, bringing John along, while Elsa had opted to stay back with the herd. Meanwhile, back in the camp, Numi tells Thomas that she has feelings for him as they've been spending a lot of time together of late. The next morning, as the group prepares themselves to cross, James tells Shay the river's current is stronger than it looks and will make crossing with heavy wagons impossible. As a result, the immigrants have to leave some of their properties behind grudgingly as they head over the river. To help the immigrants cross, Margaret and James tie a rope across both ends of the river so they can stay afloat in the water. However, the group hits unexpected trouble when one of the wagons gets stuck in the river. Sadly, despite all their attempts, they're unable to save the wagon and a few of the immigrants drown. Regardless of the tragedy, the crossing continues, and after the wagons are through, Wade, Elsa, and Ennis follow, bringing the herd along with them. The next morning after the crossing, Shay learns that the sunken wagon had actually carried their food supply and decides to resupply at Doan's Crossing, which is a week's ride away. As Thomas and Shay pack up to leave camp, Joseph shows up, grousing about the deaths the group has had to experience during the journey. Annoyed by Joseph's tirade, Shay points out that the group has lost their food supply because he put everybody's supply in a single wagon. Then, Joseph reveals they were forced to do that because some of the immigrants had been stealing from others. Following Joseph's revelation, Thomas and Shay ask Joseph to point out these thieves. When they find them, Shay retrieves what they stole and banishes them alongside their families from the group. Meanwhile, Margaret and Elsa have a mother-daughter conversation during a bath in the river after Elsa reveals she kissed Ennis. Afterward, as they return to the herd, Wade shows up and asks them to call James and Thomas. When they arrive, Wade shows them the horse tracks and remnants of a campfire, which he'd found up on the hill. After concluding that they're being followed, the group continues their journey. When they eventually camp again for the night, James asks Elsa to stay in the wagon, rather than with the herd. She does so, but she sneaks out later to see Ennis. And they make love. Unfortunately, Margaret sees them, after she goes looking for Elsa when she doesn't see her in the wagon. The following morning, after a talk with her mom about the incident, Elsa rides towards the cattle herd and sees her father. Thomas, Shay, Wade, and Ennis, watching the smoke from their last sight as the bandits following them had attacked the families Shay had banished. Deciding to deal with the bandits on their tail once and for all, they set a trap using Joseph's wagon, and the bandits fall for it. While the group is able to finish the bandits during the battle, it proves to be a costly one, since Ennis is killed by one of them. Overwhelmed by the pain of Ennis's loss, Elsa tries to kill herself, but Shay walks in right on time and dissuades her from doing so, reminding her she's still got people who care about her, unlike him. Afterward, she sobers up and returns to watching the cattle herd. When the group eventually gets to Doan's Crossing, 
the border between Texas and Oklahoma, they decide to get supplies. Thomas and Shay cleverly make camp away from the traders to keep the group of immigrants from getting swindled, while Margaret takes Elsa with her into the market. Halfway in, Elsa pulls a gun on a man who was staring at her. Fearing the worst, Margaret calls out for James, and he shows up, scaring the man away with his gun. Then, he takes the pistol from Elsa and sends her back to camp. Back at the camp, Thomas hires a cook for the immigrants and an extra cowboy, Colton, who takes an instant liking to Elsa. Later, Shay, Thomas, and James go to inspect the river they'll be crossing as they continue their journey. That night, James, who's been struggling to get through to his daughter since Ennis's death, finally does so. They have a heart-to-heart, -heart, and she wakes up the following morning feeling better than before. After crossing the river, the group arrives at Comanche land. There, they meet two natives, who they pay tax to for having cattle on their land. When they stop for a break, Elsa boasts about her horse's speed to Sam, one of the natives, and they race. Eventually, Elsa wins the race with her horse being named Lightning, and Sam gifting her a dagger. Later that night, Sam gives Shay more information on the road ahead, telling him about bandits, and that they'd have to go to Colorado because wagons don't ply the route to Oregon anymore, as most people prefer using the train. After their conversation, Shay asks Sam to stay the night, but Sam declines, stating that the group would need to leave too since a storm's coming, but Shay tells him his hands are tied. The next morning, the storm arrives before they can break camp. As the tornado nears them, the cattle herd goes out of control, and they're forced to let go of their horses as Sam returns to help them stay safe. As the tornado passes by, Sam and Elsa have a moment, and they kiss. After the storm, they realize most of their wagons and supplies have been destroyed. As they pick up what's left, they learn their cattle are being rounded up by a bunch of thieves. So Shay, Thomas, James, and Elsa go after them since the cattle herd is the only remaining source of food for their journey. However, on the way there, James leaves Elsa away from the gunfight to protect her, but some of the thieves find her and would have killed her if Sam hadn't intervened. After ensuring Elsa's safe, he goes to help Shay, Thomas, and James, who are outnumbered. Together with Charlie, an old friend of Shay's, Sam and another Indian reinforce Shay's group, and together, they kill off the thieves. Three days after the storm, the group is still stuck at a spot as they try to fix the broken wagons and find horses for their journey. Elsa joins Shay, Thomas, James, Charlie, and Sam in finding horses, and they eventually find some. Later, Sam brings some natives to trade with the group so they can stock up for the rest of their journey. Afterward, Shay announces to the group that they'll be changing destinations to Denver since winter will be on them before they get to Oregon. James, however, is insistent on sticking to the current path, and the immigrants decide to follow him. As Shay packs up to leave, Thomas, who's promised to take Numi and her sons to Oregon, shows up and convinces him to stay with the group. That night, Sam gifts James a horse for Elsa's hand in marriage. Though both parents don't approve of the marriage, they're quite helpless as Elsa's already made her decision. Not only does she want to marry Sam, she also wants to stay in Comanche land. Margaret tries to talk her out of it the next morning, but Elsa doesn't budge. However, she agrees to ride with her family to Oregon and later return to Sam. Afterward, James and Sam hold a discussion about Elsa, and Sam promises to return her if she ever grows tired of him during their marriage. Later that night, Sam teaches Elsa a few words from his language and gives her a native attire the next morning. As the group begins their journey, Elsa and Sam say their farewell, but not before proclaiming their love for each other and promising to see each other soon. Tragedy hits the group again when Joseph's wife falls off her horse after it gets bitten by a rattlesnake. Alarmed, Joseph runs towards her, only to end up getting bitten by the snake. Colton is finally able to kill it, but the damage is done. The fall has paralyzed Joseph's wife while Joseph suffers from the snake bite. Meanwhile, Shay, Thomas, and James stumble upon a camp carrying the corpses of an Indian family. Fearing that their fresh tracks now make them suspects, they decide to leave the group and go hunt the killers themselves. 
giving Wade the task of explaining their innocence to the Indians who come looking for payback. However, after they leave, the cook, scared to death for his life, convinces the immigrants to ride with him to a nearby army fort. While the wagon group tries to save themselves from a potential attack, Shay, Thomas, and James successfully find the killers of the Indian family, kill them, and start tracking back to where they left their group. Meanwhile, the Indians, having discovered the death of their kin, attack the wagon group on their way to the fort. During the fight, Elsa gets shot by a poisoned arrow, but it doesn't stop her from stepping in and quelling the carnage by speaking their language and revealing her marriage to Sam. She's able to tell the Indians that they aren't the culprits and that her father is after the true killers. Hearing that, the Indians leave, and Elsa's wound is tended to. On getting to the location where they'd last seen their group, Thomas, Shay, and James follow their tracks until they find them again. James is devastated to see his daughter wounded, but even more so when he learns the dirty arrow had hit her liver, cutting down any hopes of her surviving the injury. At the fort, Elsa is taken to see a doctor, and their worst fear is confirmed. There's no surviving her injury. At the time, the medic reveals he can't treat Joseph and his wife because of the lack of medical supplies. Afterward, Shay tells the immigrants they'll be riding to Bozeman for the winter, then head over to Oregon come spring. But the immigrants will have none of it and insist on finding their own way. But Joseph opts to follow Shay alongside Thomas, Numi, and her sons, and they move out immediately, leaving the immigrants behind. James and his family leave with Shay too, but James is hell-bent on finding a land for his family because he's finally come to terms with Elsa's imminent death and wants to settle at her ultimate resting place, so he can visit her whenever he wants to. As the group disbands, Shay leaves the cattle herd behind, causing Wade and Colton to return to Texas, as there's no use for them anymore. Later, when the group stops for the night, Thomas tells Shay and James that cutting off Joseph's distended leg might just save the man's life. Joseph agrees to Thomas's proposal, and the men amputate his leg. However, Joseph's wife dies on the way to Bozeman. After they arrive in Bozeman, Elsa sees some Indians while James is out hunting and rides away from their wagon, hoping to take the Indians away and protect her people. However, the Indians aren't out to hurt them and even help get a native doctor to treat her condition. But even the native doctor cannot help her. When James eventually shows up, the Indian leader tells him about a land he can settle on, Paradise Valley in Montana but also warns him that his people will reclaim the land in seven generations. With Elsa having little time left, James plans to take her with him to find the place, so he can pick where she'll be buried. The next morning, he rides out with her, and she picks a spot. They camp under a tree for the rest of the day, and Elsa dies soon after in her father's arms. A year later, Thomas and Numi arrive in Oregon and find a place to settle, with Joseph doing the same. Meanwhile, Shay finally reaches the ocean, and through his eyes fulfills his wife's wish to see the magnificent body of water, since he hopes and believes that a part of her soul is in him. After fulfilling her wish, he hopes to realize his own dream of seeing her again, and takes his life. I know death now. I've seen it. It had no fangs. It smiled at me. And it was beautiful.